Hello, YouTubers and RV Rebel Watchers. RV Rebel Girl Watchers. Hey, I am uh, getting in my car. It is kind of cool here today in Florida. It's between 55 and 59 right now. And um, I decided I'm going to get out of the house, get out of the camper for a while my little house on wheels and go check out it's pretty windy too i'm gonna go check out the rv show yeah there's an rv show here in lee county florida at the lee civic center and it started on thursday and that's one of the reasons why i did not go to the tampa show so you know being in florida <clears throat> um so I decided to just go ahead and wait and then go to the show here. And then I thought, oh, I really didn't want to go to the show. You want to go to one show, you've been to them all. <clears throat> but um, it's cold. There's nothing to do. I won't say cold. It's cool. Nothing to do. And um, although the sun is really bright and shining, so I do, I was, I was hooked up to power last night. My hostess and host uh, let me hook up to their house. And um, just in case it got cold, I could turn on my heater. So I did unplug and I've got my solar out there because it is, the sun is shining. And it should be good for a couple hours anyway. Danny is uh, in the camper and she just, uh doing what dogs do <laughs> whatever i gave her a treat before i left so that if she knows the minute i go to leave she's gonna get something and when i start putting my shoes on and they know they do so i'm gonna take you with me to the rv show in fort myers wow i just saw a sign for a lost Yorkie, yellow and brown. How sad. Danny's locked up. How do you lose your Yorkie? I guess they can get out of the house. You know, when you're not looking, they run out. And then if you chase them down the road, they'll keep going. You got to not chase them. And be very careful. That scares me. Makes my heart break right now. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Makes me want to go back and check on her, but I know I just locked her in there. <clears throat> so now all I'm going to keep doing is thinking about that little Yorkie that's lost. Because they're so tiny but it breaks my heart. Anyway, let's see, I gotta get going here. Find my way to the camp, to, not to, to the uh, Civic Center. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. Ten bucks to get in. So just ten bucks to get in. You park for free. So I just gotta find me a parking space. And usually they have the mounted patrol out here. Watching the parking lot. Of course, you do. there are several RVs out here. Maybe people are looking for trading in, having a trade in or something. So I hope to find me a spot not all the way in the back 40. Since I'm coming at 1.30 and they're only open till I think 5 today, 
I'm getting here kind of late. But that's okay. Oops. I'll go this way. I guess I was going the wrong way. I'm sure there's a spot over here somewhere. Let's get inside before it gets too late because it closes like at 5 o'clock today and it's 1.30. We'll see as much as we can see. Come on along with me. Let's go. This is the same show that was just in Tampa, Florida. And they've now come here to Southwest Florida to show off their wares. Cute little plaques, huh? You can have them customized. And it's just one of the vendors that are here besides all the RVs that are up for display, including tiny houses. They actually have tiny houses here. But, you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? Let's check out this leprechaun. Oh, this one's like pandemoniums. Similar. A little different, but it's got the same kind of kitchen. He has a little different floor plan, but it's a leprechaun. Like I said, the floor pans might be a little different, but basically once you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> they've got class A's, diesel pushers. They've got tiny houses, class C's, bumper pools or travel trailers, whatever you choose to call them. And there's lots of people here. And it's a very cool day today. Everyone is in coats and boots, although I did see some lady with a pair of flip-flops on, but she'll tell you she was freezing her petunias off. Yep. Lots of fifth wheels, big rigs. It looks like a lot of 40-footers. Oh, check out this one. Beautiful interior. Why do they put the second door so close to the first door? They'd have a much nicer, nicer floor plan if they put that door in the back like the mini Winnie. I mean, and safety wise, it would be a better idea to have it near the rear. This one is small. Look at that, no kitchen counter space to do anything. Small bed. It's not even a full size. Hmm. Okay size bathroom. And the one thing it does have, it has a closet, which mine doesn't have a closet. That's why I had to get the van. Yeah, I was checking out that. Well, it wouldn't be an RV show or a vendor show without funnel cakes and corn dogs and food. Lots and lots of fifth wheels with the toy haulers in the back. They're a smaller size golf cart. Oh my God, and I guess they fold up. Are these not cool? Little golf carts. They fold up, huh? Yeah, 5,000 bucks. That's it? 5,000 bucks, the voice says. Look at this. <laughs> they fold up. Yeah, that one's They're all for sale. Come on, get off. Let's go. Let's go find Mimi and Papa. They're wow, they, they fold up? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Really easy. It'll take about right, two let's minutes. Go. Use the full pin. Slide it out. Lock it in. And this fourth plate goes down here. Two thumb screws. Back rest goes in. Wow. So that would fit in my van. We have pictures. I have pictures of one of these with the tires like that, no top, in the back of a four-door Jeep Wrangler. Wow. And then uh, you set the ramps in place. 
You watch this red one right here. This one in front of me. Which Get one? It aimed. That one? Yep. And then load it up. Oh my gosh, it's a remote control? Yeah. That is so cool. To load it so it's safe, you know, you don't have to ride it up there and that risk. That's the price on one of them. That one is 56. This one is 46. That one starts at 76. Because of the canopy? No, because of the, the billet hubs and wheels and tire adapters. Oh, and special tires. We take yeah. all the China stuff out from under it to put American on it. Yeah. These are so cool. Oh, look at this one over here. That's that the one. 36. Is that like a scooter almost? Almost, yes. And it's only 36? Yeah. It collapses too. That handlebar folds down on the seat. So you can load it up in the van also. Oh, this one's. Does it, it does it collapse smaller than what it is or just that That one actually is collapsed. This one is not. Okay, so it's just that the bar goes yeah. down. And then, and then, and then you put it down. Okay, so it it's still about the same size as that. Yep. yep. This is like 3600. I said 1000, 3600. Like you love each other still. But <laughs> Lots of vans. I got some good ideas from a couple of the vans I looked at for remodeling mine or changing it up a little bit, but a lot of them are the Ram, Winnebago, Mercedes. And they're short like mine. They're not real long. They're not like the big ass ones. You know. Pretty. And when I came in, it said, it said no cameras, but I don't know why they would even say that. Oh, this is a beautiful white, like that. Could still have passengers. I feel like I want this one too. <laughs> this seems fine. Could still have passengers and... Bike rack, now this is the kind of bike rack I want, but they don't make it. I just saw a guy with this one. It is so cool, but they don't make it for my van. Oh, so your kitchen and everything's in the back and your bed isn't very big. Well, I had a voice over this section here, but I really like the way the back of this van was done. The reason I had a voiceover is because there was sister sledge playing back in the background um copyright i like to have that on the sides and then you got little cubbies there where you can put your stuff in for storage and this here storage was pretty nice even though those doors were kind of heavy but i really liked it it gave me a good idea for you know um redesigning my van and i like the way that you know you could still put the bed down and have a bed see how it is up on the side there I like that plus or you could put a bike up there you know a bike sitting right in that middle section and your generator we'll see good ideas very good ideas this is a teacup pot belly pig I didn't realize they had so much hair different breeds Wow. Size, like a regular pop. She can get to 150. A regular pop belly gets to 300. So a teacup gets to 150 pounds. Yeah. I'm containing a little over 100. This one's 100. What's it? What's well, her well, name? Before the show. Um, she's Charlie Girl. Charlie Girl? Charlie Girl. Oh. She gained 15 pounds in the last couple of weeks. She gained 15 pounds just coming to the RV show and eating all those... Uh, 
goodies. I just helped jump those people's truck up there with that little pop-up. They, their battery went dead on their Silverado. Their battery went dead on their Silverado because of their refrigerator, I guess, on their pop-up. So I happen to be walking over to get back in my car to leave the RV show and they're from Buffalo, New York. So, um, uh, yeah, I happen to be coming back to the car, the, to the van. Uh, it's cold and my lips are getting chapped. But anyway, I came back to the van and as I was getting in the van, he's like, I don't even, I'm gonna, was gonna, I don't even have jumper cables. He was like a little frustrated. I don't blame him. So I said, well, I said, I don't have jumper cables, but I got this little jumper gadget. Let's see if it works. And he goes, you're kidding me. And I pulled it out and I showed it to him. You know, it's my little jumper thing. And I got it at Costco's, uh, I think for $49 two years ago when I was in Chicago or in Illinois, at the Illinois Costco's in Illinois, by, by my son's house. And I thought, what a great thing. I even thought about buying it for my two grandchildren that drive. Um, but you know what? I figured, oh, they're not going to keep it charged. <laughs> you know, whatever. But um, it works great. And so, obviously, it works great because he just jumped it. It just, boom, started just like that. So, now I will charge it up back. And it's now it's down at 95%. So, it comes with the... This is the... Bat the battery. Here's the cables. And you know what? I knew it worked to charge my phone, but now I know it works. It will start a vehicle, especially since my battery is underneath the seat and it's hard to get to. I'd have to go from behind in the back of the van. It clips into this port right here and it just prompts you in the little window here. It tells you what to do. Yeah, so now it's at um, 95%. I don't know if you can see it. There we go, 95%. So that's all it took. So I will plug it in. Here's the cord. Plug it in to my USB here. And it's got three different USB ports in it. So I'm going to use this little one here. So plug it in. This is the one that came with it. And I'll plug it into my USB port on my dashboard here. Where I normally... What do I have plugged in there? Oh, I just... I got nothing plugged in there. I just got the cord in case I need it. And it'll charge it up. The 5% I need to go back up to 100. It probably will be all charged up by the time I get back to my camper. So, speaking of campers, you know, an RV show is an RV show. And it, I was not impressed. <laughs> and I was actually very disappointed even in the vendors, the amount of vendors that they had. Because I'll say not just vendors, but con artists, attempted con artists, you know? And why do I say that? So I'm walking past this one booth and the lady says, oh, here's a ticket. Here's a ticket. You want to win a free, a free vacation, and spin the wheel, whatever. So she gives me the ticket. I input the number and then I have to go over to this other machine and hit the button and then it does like a slot machine. So I get watermelon, 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 boom, boom, ding, 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 ding. 
I won something, won something. And it says I won three days at one of their resorts, a free three day vacation. Okay. Sorry. I got chap lips. So this is my purse chapstick and then I have a car chapstick and then I got a house chapstick because I never go anywhere without my chapstick. So now I got this three day vacation, allegedly. Three days free vacation. And uh, there's some other ladies sitting there, Maybe two ladies. So then she says, where do you want to go? And she says, you pick one of these resorts. And so I said, well, I'm in Florida. I might, well, I'll pick the Florida one. It was up on the other coast. Because I figured, okay, when I leave the state, I'll go up the other coast. And um, not that I would be able to get in there because it's season, but who knows. So she says, okay, I just need you to fill out this and give us a $40 deposit. I said, 40? I thought you said it was free. Well, it's $40 in case you don't show up. I said, that's not free. And if I have to cancel, I shouldn't lose my $40. Well, you do. Well, then that's not free. And if you go, they want you to listen to a sales pitch. And it's probably a high-pressured sales pitch or something. So I'm like, ah, thanks, but no thanks. Uh-uh, forget about it. Forget about it. I didn't stay very long. Maybe an hour. And it wasn't very big of an RV show. The one in Chicago was ginormous. And then, of course, I'm used to the ones in Quartzite at the Big Tent, which is even more ginormous. I'll be right back. I got to go put my mirror out. Okay. Okay. Back in the car. Back in the van. So, buttons on your underwear. Anyway, I was at the right place in the right time to help those people out. I'm glad I was there. That makes me feel good when I can help somebody. Doesn't it make you feel good when you can help somebody? Okay, sunshine and it's really bright. I'll be back later. Bye.